in this segment, we're going to reach out to our special roving reporter, Scott Lamborg. Scott, I want you to take it away and tell us what's working in business now. Thanks, Jim. Today on What's Working in Business, I'm talking with Michelle Preston and Michelle Wyman from OCDesignerSource.com. They've been doing interior design for over 25 years, uh, both of them, and they've got such an interesting, exciting spin on the business. Michelle, Michelle, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The, the design business has got to be very challenging, I would think, for a lot of people right now. Yes, it is. I mean, people aren't building as many houses as they used to, um, not remodeling as much. Uh, even commercial projects are probably slower than they ever been. Is that right? Yes, that's, that's true. The two of you have found a way to build a business that's working. So tell me a little bit about OC Designer Source. What do you specialize in? Well, we are interior designers for both residential and commercial design, um, specializing in basically making people happy. Uh, yeah. Making them very comfortable in their interiors, as well as making sure that everything's code compliance. Um, and then the, but we have another division that's been very interesting for us. We didn't know it would spin off into a big monster, but it did. And uh, what it was is we found that a lot of people were having trouble finding the right art for their uh, projects. And so we basically put together a team of artists that we mentor into making uh, the right art for the right interior. Wow, that's amazing. So, I mean, that's, the, that's one of the areas I wanted to focus on with you today because I think it's really interesting moving from just doing traditional design and finding a new part of your company um, that you could potentially grow and expand. And, and tell me more about your art division and your art team. Who are these artists? How do you find them? And how do you convince them to become part of your, your team? Well, it's kind of interesting how we found them. We have actually found some of them online through social media. I have a couple of artists that are actually out of the country that um, wanted to be in the U.S. So I started communicating to an Italian artist and a U.K. artist um, just basically through shows, social media. And they were excited. So uh, we brought in some of their pieces, and we've been showing them every since. We also have a lot of local artists from Orange County. Um, we have some from Florida. We have some from you name it. They're kind of spreading across the board there. But um, we find them also through some of our artists. Like, they'll get excited about what we're doing, and they'll tell others, and that's been really exciting also. Great. So you're taking, and, and my guess is you're taking artists that are producing unique pieces for people if they, if they want them, or you also have a, a catalog of, of art that someone can choose from. Is that right? Yes. We actually have what's called an art library, and if someone's really interested in uh, looking at 1,600 images of different things that we have at, at the present time, we can give them an access code, and they can go in and really look at all the diversity that we have in there. Now, who, who, who's your ideal client? Are you looking for a homeowner? Are you looking for a designer? Um, who, are, who are you typically working with, with the art? We're looking um, for custom homes, residential, um, any commercial projects or hospitality, um, assisted living projects. If a publisher wanted to look at our products and, and license something, for sure. I mean, that's a given. Is it anybody that really needs art, um, it's an emotional response to art. Yeah. That's what's interesting about art. One of the things I thought was interesting, too, we talked about a little bit offline, was you're, it sounds like you're creating a, another system for people that are looking to purchase a new home and creating an interface for them to actually choose their art as well. Is that right? We have that. We've developed an art program that builders can use. Um, it's set up per project, and any builder, architectural firm, designer firm can use it and we can set them up with that, and they can access all the art for their um, new home buyers. Wow. How did you figure out how to bring art more into the design process? Where did the idea come from? That's an interesting one. We had worked with a lot of builders, and they never did the finishing parts to that. So during the downturn of our economy, we had a lot of connections, and we were talking to a lot of the presidents of the design centers that were still you know, working and doing things. They got excited about that. So we worked with one of our alliances, TKO Art, and created a program that is very user-friendly for the builders to use. Wow, and it sounds like it's really working for you guys. It's a new profit center for you, and it allows you to you know, work with their joint venture partners, I would imagine, and, and, and gets, gets your, your design services also being able to be utilized by the same people that are using your art, right? Absolutely. Fantastic. Now, talk to me about what do you, what's really special about the artists you have. 
Well, two things. One of the one of the things that we found is, first of all, these aren't artists that a lot of people have seen. Um, we find that the galleries have had a lot of trouble keeping their doors open because they are waiting for that perfect buyer to come in. What we do instead is we expose them not only online, but we also have the network parties and network mm -hmm. parties to let them meet and greet designers or architects that might be buying their art. Um, so that's one thing is we're putting them into a lot of different marketing uh, areas. We don't want them just to be in one place. Um, we also do consignment, and the consignments are done a lot of times in businesses or restaurants, architectural studios, you name it. And what it does is it promotes them every time one of their clients comes in, they're seeing the art. So um, we've tried a lot of different avenues, and it's been very successful in that. Um, the other thing is, is that we make our artists support each other. We make mm. them a team. We make them, um, you know, support and rally around the one who might be having a party. Um, we had a big opening or a, an artist party for uh, one of our artists last year, and we had almost every artist that was in Orange County come to the party and rally around her. And, and that's challenging because I, I would imagine a lot of artists can get competitive because they want to they want to see more of their work out there and, and more of their business out there. And and sometimes people might think that. Uh, that it's a competitive climate, but it doesn't sound like that's how you work with your team. You know what? It's not competitive because each artist has something very unique about them and in how they do their develop their design. And so um, it really we teach them that they really are different. They really aren't the same, even if you have two photographers doing the same thing. It's their unique talent takes it to a different direction. So they really aren't against each other. They're really a team. And, and another thing I thought was really interesting about what you're doing is it's almost like a new distribution channel for them. You know, they're used to selling their art on their own probably. May, maybe they're not the, the best business people, and you're giving them another avenue to sell their art. Absolutely. We also have had people give them new business practices, and we also um, have people that do tours for them, like printing. A lot of them don't understand printing. Printing has gotten very technical, mm. and we have a printer that's one of our alliances that basically had a big tour for them, so they understood DPIs and GBs and MBs and all the different <laughs> things that go with that. So, wow. So, so do you think what, how, how do you manage the artist with with the inventory they're giving you are there have are they having to discount it are you making them sign exclusive contracts are they concerned about are they concerned about any of that how, how, what's the secret to making them feel collaborative about your process actually not making them exclusive um, that's been really a positive um, I, if they call me and they say they've got one of the pieces I have somewhere um, sold I'm not going to yank it off the walls until the consignment's up, but if they've got it sold, they've got it sold. And it's in their, it's their prerogative to sell that piece, and I make them replace it with something else. Do, do you guys have any exciting stories about an artist that you think is kind of off the beaten path that people don't know about that they need to know about? We yeah. have a great one. She does encaustics. She used to do faux finishing for all the bit local builders. And she started doing encaustics, which is... Now, for an amateur like me who doesn't know anything about <laughs> art, what does that mean, encaustics? Waxes. Okay. Um, and they work... It's a, it's a very old, old, old technique. It's old European. Mm. And um, basically, um, it's done with waxes. And she carves contemporary feelings um, into the wax, um, different colors. And um, the reason why it's so unique and it's gotten more and more... Um, known recently as people are seeing that they can go up and touch it and it's got texture and depth. They can put uh, reeds and rocks and all different things into it. And she mixes it with faux. Great. And she has been one of our most successful new people. Wow. How, how do you find new artists? Do they come to you? Do you find them? How, how, how do you vet an artist if they want to be on your team? We actually have an art director that is helping us locate them and uh, market to many of them. And do you work in Southern California exclusively or all across the country? What's your footprint? We actually have even got some artists that I met through social media that are, were from overseas and they had never shown their pieces here. 
they're just like us. They're not going across the sea. So we have an Italian artist and a UK artist. So, so you're helping someone that's looking for some unique art that uh, it's not just a print from uh, uh, from a local store, but unique quality art pieces that their friends might not have, and, and finding the right piece of art for the right room and for the right space, right? Yeah, exactly. Great, great. Now, how can people learn more about uh, what you do? Well, we have a website. It's ocdesignersource.com. Great, ocdesignersource.com. And then how can a person start working with you? they set up a consultation? Do they sign up for online access? What's the next step? They can either email us off of our site, or there's also a phone number there that they can call. Great. Thank you both so much for being with us today. Thank you. And congratulations on your success in business. Jim, back to you. 